Hi friends, it's Erica welcoming you to episode 20 of the Work of the Empath podcast. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you a way to cancel worry by transforming it into wonder. Why wonder, you ask? Because wonder is, quote, a marvelous thing, a miracle, an object of astonishment, end quote. Any of these would be considerably better than worry, yes? Stay with me to see how to make that trade. This will be a meditative experience, so please only listen when you're able to be seated, relaxed, and preferably reclined. First, let's get a clear mental picture of what worry actually does. We can see the damage that worry does by delving into the marrow, the innermost core of the meaning of worry. Its etymological root is actually quite violent. Choke, strangle, slay, kill, injure by biting and shaking the throat. And there are outer effects of this inward terrorism. 1. Your vision weakens, both direct and peripheral. You are less able to see, detect, recognize, and even feel worthy of suitable, often wonderful, solutions that surround you. 2. Your scent is a bit sour, meaning worry knocks your fragrance off and you may be more attractive to buzzards than butterflies. And three, your confidence feels shattered, so your outgoing signal is faint, staticky, or distorted. If we let worry run our show, it negatively impacts our optics, our chemistry, our emotions, and our overall well-being. The great news, though, is that each of these unwanted effects can be reversed. One way to access wonder is through expansion. As you allow yourself to spread out, the hounds of worry shrink and retreat like the whimpering pups they truly are. Are you ready to experience this treat of expansion that comes when you invert worry and access wonder? If you like, close your eyes. Then place a palm of either hand over your heart until you feel its faithful beat. Do you feel it? Oh, that very reliable cardiac pump. When we're good to it, it is good to us. At any time, we can give thanks for this percussive reminder of pulsing life right inside our chest. The world out there may change beyond recognition or even belief, and our heart solidly marches on. Okay, just make yourself completely comfortable as you now bring to mind something or someone that you love in totality. Whether a child, a chihuahua, a chess set, or even good dark chocolate. The important thing is to let this representative love be light, easy, and frictionless. So it very well might not be a person. It really doesn't have to be. You're just using the available power behind the love you feel for X. That stored love is a battery, and you can tap into it to ignite other processes. That's the exciting hack. We are scooping from the already gathered positive and considerable energy that is your love for X. We scoop from that energy to jumpstart the process of expansion, to counter the strangling constriction that worry brings. It's easy to do, 
I'll show you how. Have you decided on your representative love? While feeling that great love for X, spread yourself out, literally. Let your neck, arms, core, and legs all be loose like jelly. Give your neck and limbs nothing to do right now. Their only responsibility, if they insist, is weightlessness. This applies not just to your physical self, but all of you. Spread all of yourself out like a peacock's enormous tail, also called a train. The peacock's tail, or train, takes up all kinds of space with its enormous size and iridescent beauty. Enjoy the peacock's extravagance. Can you let yourself be tended to by the natural splendor of the peacock? Worry is so numbingly tight and constricted, it simply can't connect with this bigger way of being. This more beautiful way of being. By allowing yourself to open and expand, which you can always do by tapping into love's totality, when you feel that love, you are expanded. And when you are expanded, you can directly source the thing you seek by becoming a resonant match for it. Feel love's totality. Expand. Match what you seek. Feel love's totality. Expand. Match what you seek. Feel love's totality. Expand into it. Match what you seek. You have just done more and done better than cancel worry. At this moment, you have fallen out of agreement with constriction, so you can fully see what you're working with, and it is glorious, fresh, original, brave, daring, innovative, moral, generous, beautiful, healing, truthful, enlivening, liberated, discerning. Your vision is now eagle sharp, you see possibilities far, near, and even in the dark. They are all over, and they are very visible to you now. You welcome them. You are a match for them. You're fragrant to these desirable opportunities, effortlessly emitting, clearly signaling, summoning to your experience now the expanded outcome that will light you up. Keep your eyes and heart open, friend, for your marvelous thing, your miracle, your object of astonishment wants to be found by you. Now, when you meet with your marvelous thing, with your miracle, with your object of astonishment. It will happen in the regular, mundane course of your day. But this time, it will stand out and you will notice it because you've just primed yourself. You've just readied and prepared yourself to meet with your solution, to expansively say yes to it, by carrying a sense of openness and wonder, you actually become inhospitable to worry. 
more peacock, less chicken. <laughs> this concludes our meditative journey. Thank you so much for joining me on it. How was that transmuting exercise for you? I'd love to hear. Drop me a line at podcast at empathicwriter.com. If you enjoyed this episode, consider sharing it with a friend.